In this lab, we're going to be doing another discovery lab. And it's actually not going to be too terribly difficult for this. Uh, everything that you're going to be doing in this lab, you've seen before. The only thing that you're going to use different is microwaves. So they're like optical waves, except for they have a different wavelength. And the frequency that this microwave has is in the gigahertz range. And the microwave that we're going to be using is actually very similar to the microwave that you have in your apartment or your house. However, it's much lower intensity, so don't try to cook, cook any delicious vegetables with it or you'll be here a really long time. The source, this is our source over here. Um, you can see it says transmitter on it. And it's actually a polarized source. So if we hold it one way or hold it a different, the polarization will change. The other similar looking thing, the one that has the dial on it, again, can be rotated. It has to pick up a certain polarization, so it's a polarized detector, and it's, it's our detector. So the intensity that we read out from the, gra uh, from, the, from the dial will tell us how much microwaves are coming into it. And now everything else that we're having in this lab, we've seen before, are just useful for completing the lab. Uh, these little guys right here are just stands to hold things. We see over here we have a ruler so we can adjust the distance on these. Uh, we have a compass that we can use to tell us what angle that we're at. A couple other things, uh, this is a stand, so we can put things on the stand, measure its angle. These aluminum plates, um, this one right here, it's on one of the stands. If we put it in, these aluminum plates, these solid aluminum plates, act as mirrors. So we can see what happens with these, but these are mirrors for microwaves. Some of the more interesting things that we're going to get into. This wonderful little piece that uh, has a bunch of slits in it. This is nothing more than a polarizer for microwaves. This wonderful thing with these little beads in front of it uh, is the beads will act as a different index of refraction for the uh, microwaves. So you can tell by its shape that it has an optical equivalent, so I'll let you guys figure out what, what you think it is. But the beads act as a different um, index of refraction for microwaves. And last but not least, uh, we got these three metal pieces, two of them standing, and we put a third on, a mi on the uh, magnet. And we have two openings, and the two openings here will give us a double slit. So we can do double slit experiments. Now, go ahead, complete the rest of this lab uh, as you would, uh, and try to remember that we're dealing with just a different radiation source. We're just dealing with microwaves. It's the same idea as optics, so all the things you saw in the previous couple labs, you can use that idea again and see if it works for microwaves. Here's a thing to try that you may have not seen before in the optics. Go grab a piece of uh, brown paper towel put it in front, and then put a little bit of water on it and put it in front of the, uh, between the detector and the source. And think about what happens to your food when you put it in your microwave. So as you complete this lab, again, always be safe, good luck, and have fun. <laughs>